The 2.0 update gave us something I wasn't expecting. I'm not talking about expensive thrones or this thing. I'm talking about the ability to buy infinite turnips, or at least as many turnips as your ABD can buy for you. What do you need to do to set yourself up in order to be able to purchase practically infinite turnips? First step, besides having a ton of bells to buy turnips with, is to purchase the ABD available in the Nook Miles Redemption menu. Once you have that, place it anywhere outside on your island. I like to take it and place it near wherever Daisy May is hanging out. She does tend to freaking book it every now and then, but you can always pick up your ATM and search for her. You can continue taking money out, buying turnips, and plopping them down on your island until 5 a.m. Monday morning, as long as you do not enter a building or cause the island to reload for any reason. Once the island has reloaded, Daisy May will disappear and your turnip purchasing will come to an end. Daisy May has always stuck around as long as you, the player, stayed outside. If I logged on a bit late and only had a small amount of time to purchase turnips, I would fill my pockets with bells from the ABD and drop them on the ground as quick as I could, and hope that my turnip prices weren't the maximum cost of 110 bells per turnip. Ah, the curse of not being a morning person. Before the 2.0 update, the only way to get a bunch of bells was to enter resident services, take out money, and then exit. Unfortunately, doing this afternoon would make Daisy May disappear. Now the ability to have the ABD outside makes it so that we don't have to enter a building to get more money, or spend time dropping bags of money on the ground. We can just take money right from the ABD at any time of the day. As long as you're logged into the game by Sunday morning, just run, grab some money, talk to Daisy May to stock up on turnips, drop them somewhere you have room, and repeat. Just remember, no entering buildings after noon. This trick even works on friends' islands. If they have placed an ABD outside on their island, you can use it. Before, we were unable to touch our friend's nook stops. Thankfully, the developers gave us a way around that, and now we have the beautiful ABD. You can perform the same strategy as you would on your own island. You can even drop turnips on their island and come back later to pick them up. This way, you're not stuck paying the maximum price for your turnips on your own island. You can raid your friend's Daisy May, who's selling them for less. Now you can buy way more turnips with your millions upon millions of bells. If you want a complete in-depth breakdown of how the turnip market works, I have an entire video that goes into heavy details. Just make sure you're keeping track of your turnip prices on a site like Turnip Profit so you can better predict what kind of pattern your turnip prices will follow for the week. If you have Nintendo Switch Online, there was an update to the Animal Crossing app that added your island news. Scrolling to the bottom shows your turnip prices for the previous days. This is crazy helpful. Turnip Profit works best when you input most or all of your prices for the week. If you miss a day or two, the predictions had a chance of being a bit inaccurate. Now you have access to every price you've had for the week, even if you don't log in for the day. If you want to know the best ways to make bells, I have a video on that too. <laughs> make a nice orchard, sell all your fruit, sell your crops and pumpkins, do your money trees, and the turnip market can be your best friend or your worst enemy, but with sites like Turnip Exchange, you'll always be able to make a profit. It sucks when you're stuck with decreasing week and none of your friends play New Horizons anymore. Now all of the internet is your friend. There are a bunch of ways to make bells in this game, and it feels like we need bells now more than ever. This 2.0 update added so many new items that are so expensive. Why is this throne 800,000 bells? Why do we need construction vehicles? Why do I keep buying all this stuff? I think turnips are the reason I have over 60 million bells in the bank. If you want a bunch of money, they are your key. And now you don't have to worry about waking up with less than an hour to spare to buy boatloads of turnips. What's your favorite way to make bells? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget about the new merch available now. We also have a kid's hoodie. And I'll see you next time. Bye!